it is a happy fall day over here and it's Monday so I thought I should come and bother you and read you a Mozart letter and play you then let me just sorry I'm just trying to figure out how to put you here I still can't figure out my contacts in the last video <laughs> um, I don't know if it was last week or two almost two weeks ago I was talking about those and I just took them out. I'm trying out a different pair now. Oops, that's not right. I'm trying to do this one. So my eyes are a little unhappy. <laughs> but that's okay. I have glasses to fix that. Bear with me. Bear with me. Oop, that's not right. I'm sorry, I thought I set this up before before all this. There we go. Nope. <laughs> I don't know why you're lopsided. Okay, you guys. There. There we go. Okay. By the way, I'm going to have to go get something out of the oven. It's not an apple pie, sadly. It's some potatoes. <laughs> um, but they're going to they're gonna go off in just a little bit. But maybe I will take you into the kitchen with me. We'll, we'll see. How are you doing? Do you need a cup of tea? Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for being here, you guys. I hope you're enjoying the fall weather. Does it feel like fall where you are? Um, the leaves are starting to fall off the trees here and it's just so magical and so lovely. Fall is my favorite time of year. It is my favorite time of year. I even got out my fabulous little fall shoes. Hey, Jose, you were missed on Friday. <laughs> Hopefully next time. Look at these cute shoes. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I got them on sale last year and I put them in my closet and then I opened a fresh box of shoes. That's the best time to get your clothes is like at the end of the season sales and then just like save them in your closet for like you in the future as a present. They're just, it's the best, <laughs> it's the best way to, to shop. So yes, yeah, so thank you. Thank you, Jose. Yeah, they're so fabulous. I really love them. I had a pair like this last year and I love them so much that I just bought another pair completely on sale. They were, I don't know, like $25 or something on sale. Anyway, I know you're here too to talk about shoes, look at pumpkins, eat some um, chocolate covered raisins. All of you in your lessons, you should keep some of these nearby because as we go through each like little thing that we do, you can have a little chocolate raisin as a reward like if you keep a couple on your music stand like that's the perfect little reward <laughs> during your lesson or during your practice i always joke about it but i'm actually serious like just put a few chocolate raisins on your stand and it makes everything so much more fabulous you know especially as we go into october especially as we go into october so this is gonna be a short and sweet little get together today because I have some lessons to teach this afternoon. So, but I wanted to pop in because I didn't get a chance to say hi last week. I wanted to show you this glorious um, little card that's all about this time of year. And I also wanted to show you this lipstick. Look at this lipstick. I'm wearing it today. I'm calling it Viola lipstick. <laughs> uh, my friend, who owns the store Silver Moon Antiques. She has the most magical things you've ever seen in your entire life and I love her so much. Silver Moon Antiques, Google it. Silver Moon Antiques. <laughs> um, her friend bought this for me in an airport and I don't know, it's like TVLV Lip Glaze. Matte lip glaze number 21 in the shade viola, I feel. Hey, guitar gods. But it's very fall and it just, it looks fabulous. So we're gonna read a little bit about autumn and I might just grab my harp real quick and just strum a little tune for you. And maybe a quick Mozart's letter, have a sip of tea and then we'll call it a day, a chocolate raisin and we'll call it a day. <laughs> so this time of year is also called Maybon. Um, the autumn equinox, the autumn ex equinox and second of the harvest festivals when we celebrate with a feast of thanksgiving for the earth's bounty. 
right? So in our um, virtual studio circle on Friday, this last Friday, and you can join that. If you're not there, why aren't you there? It's, um, it's every month. It's always the last Friday of the month we meet on Zoom. It's on Patreon, Violin Viola Masterclass. Go, go check it out. It's a cute little community there. Um, we were talking about how music has enriched our lives over this last year and also um, seeing the growth and the harvest of the seeds that we planted musically maybe last year. And I was talking about actually how I feel like I've grown so much as a teacher and also I've helped, I've like, you know, that class is a kind of, um, it's an opportunity for us to practice playing for each other and also just discuss things and have a little music community time. But it's, when I first started that class, I was really, really, really nervous. <laughs> um, and well, first of all, cause Zoom, and then second of all, working with a group, even though I know everybody and I've known everybody for many years and some of you I've known virtually. <laughs> um, anyway, it was still a big thing for me to do. And a year and a half or a year later, I feel completely comfortable working with the group and it's so great to have, to really have that skill and to be able to not be, you know, if I, if I had just never, if I hadn't like conquered that fear, I wouldn't be able to do that. And that wouldn't be such an awesome thing that I look forward to each month. So anyway, I'm just grateful for that. But, um, so Thanksgiving, what else? If you want to add these things to your music room or on your music stand, you could add, um, let's see here, some colors. It says brown, green, orange, gold, red, yellow. You could put a little citrine crystal somewhere, maybe. Um, you could burn some sage, it says, um, or some cinnamon, frankincense, right? Um, Oh, there's my potatoes. Let's go to the kitchen and get the potatoes. You guys, I have lost almost 25 pounds since January. Can you believe that? Let me say that again. I've almost lost 25 pounds since January. Um, I will have to share that with you at some point if you're interested. Because, um, wow, that's quite a lot of weight, isn't it? And you probably never know looking at me. Actually, you would know. Um, but what a wonderful achievement. See, these are the potatoes. So what I do is I steam them first and then I bake them in the oven at 400 for like, well, I put them in for 25 minutes. Let's see. They're, so they're kind of crispy on the outside. Although it's, I think these could be a little bit crispier. So I'm gonna put them back in the oven. Let's put them back in the oven for maybe another like 10 minutes or so. I didn't lose 25 pounds just eating potatoes, by the way. And I'm not gonna eat all these potatoes just myself. I just like, you know, to have them available. Um, let me pop the timer on. So that they're ready to go, you know, maybe tomorrow, for example. I was thinking it would be funny to do a, a video of, of concert dresses I don't fit in anymore. I don't know that I'll ever fit in them because they're really small. They're really, really small. <laughs> but maybe, maybe it would be fun to just get like that whole, you know, rack of, I don't know how many dresses there are, like 10 dresses or something. I should just wear them. I should, if I fit in any of them, I should just, you know, just dress up randomly for lessons and wear, and wear, wear a concert ballroom, ballroom gown for lessons or something like for Halloween maybe <laughs> okay so anyway this time of year you could even step outside and collect a couple leaves and pop them in your music room and um, they can be reminders to you of the things that you are have learned maybe some things you want to let go of things you've outgrown even um, you could write down on and put on your music stand the little musical seeds that you har that you planted last year, whether you started learning an instrument or whether you um, started learning a particular book series with your teacher or whatever it is that you might have learned, you could kind of just write that down and that way you can kind of see where you were and where you are now perhaps. That might be kind of a fun thing to do. Of course, having a pumpkin in the background is wonderful. So just that, that energy of, of Thanksgiving and harvesting 
which is wonderful. An apple pie, M baking an apple pie as well would be nice. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me let me just grab my harp and I, I did want to play you something. My harp is not in tune. It's kind of in tune. It's in tune enough. <laughs> this was something that I bought. When was it? Well, it arrived, I think in March or April, 2020. So like as the pandemic was settling in, that's when this harp arrived. And I have yet to have a real lesson on it. So I've kind of just let the harp teach me how to play. Um, but one of my favorite, favorite tunes is the oldest tune that we have in the Western world. It's the oldest complete song with words. As long as you live, shine, have no grief at all, life exists only for a short while, and time demands its due. Sikilos Epitaph, which I've played so many times. Um, it's in the Mixolydian mode. It's lovely. It's lovely, lovely. How about a Cantigan? harp this is a lewis creek nightingale harp isn't it lovely and it, you can just sit it right on the ground here you can put a little strap on it and carry it around with you you can um it's like it's just such a lovely lovely instrument so if you are curious about getting a harp i would highly highly suggest the lewis creek nightingale harp it is magical it has a gorgeous voice it is more expensive than a cheap harp that you might just get right off the bat but for any of you that are musicians out there, you know that the voice is very important, <laughs> right? So, hey, Guitar Gods, wonderful playing and great Maybon advice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, you guys, there's 14 of you here. Chen Fang, hi, it's nice to see you. I think this is the first time I'm seeing on one, you on one of these. Thank you. Yep, so um, I think it's time to read a Mozart's letter. Let's read a Mozart's letter. But first, a singing bowl moment. Some good vibes are coming your way. Some lovely, lovely vibes are coming your way. And you are going to have a very blissful day in a little bubble. <laughs> Why don't we see if we can find um, a Mozart's letter from maybe like the fall? 
I'll have to flip through and see what I can find. So this, I actually, I realized I have two different um, editions, maybe, of Mozart's Letters. I really like this one. This is by Robert Spaveling. Mozart's Letters, Mozart's Life. Should be on the shelves of any Mozart lover. And we all love Mozart, don't we? It does feel like ancient Greece, Chen Bang, doesn't it? Actually, that um, tune that I played first on the harp was an ancient Greek. Well, not ancient. It was from the first century Greece. So that's super perceptive of you. The other one was um, a Spanish um, cantiga, medieval Spanish cantiga. So, um, okay, let's see if I can find something from maybe October or maybe September. Let's see, um, November, we're getting there. Um, October 17th. September 29th, what's the date today? The 27th. Um, let's see if I can find something from October, no, November, sorry, November 26th. Okay, so 1777. So Mozart was born in, in 1756. So he would be 19, would he be 19? If it's 1756, 1777, 17, 1766, 1776, 1777, would he be 21? Oh my gosh, I am so bad at math, I'm so sorry and embarrassed. <laughs> but anyway, he's somewhere around there. Okay, to his father in Salzburg. <clears throat> And there's, a, there's gonna be words that I don't know how to pronounce because, you know, Mozart was fluent in all sorts of different languages. And so just, you know, forgive me in advance. Mon très cher Pere, Perry, anyway, to his father, we arrived safely in Munich on the 24th in the evening at half past four o'clock. What was new to me was that we had to drive to customs Imagine customs right away, accompanied by a grenader with a fixed bayonet. Oh my gosh, what a way to arrive. <laughs> Imagine going, you know, flying through, flying, and then you have to go through customs and you're, you know, escorted by, you know, a grenader with a fixed bayonet. The first familiar person we saw while we were still driving into the city was Signor Consoli. Consoli, who recognized me right away and was exceedingly happy to see me. He came to visit the very next day. I cannot fully express Herr Albert's joy in seeing me. He is thoroughly, he is a thoroughly sincere man and such a good friend. After our arrival, I played the clavier until it was time to eat. Herr Albert had not come home yet, but after he came, we went downstairs to have supper together. Today, Friday the 26th, I went to see Count Seal. Oh, oh, there's the potatoes. We will return to this letter. It's a very, it's kind of a short one. So we shall go check on the potatoes and see how they're doing. Oh my goodness. I'll come back to Mozart's letter. <laughs> Isn't this lipstick color? It's amazing. That like Viola lipstick is something else. I'm coming potatoes. You know what I also made today? I'm gonna to show you. I made some, I am making fermented garlic. All of you that are worried about your immunity, you need some fermented garlic in your life. It's so easy to make. You can look up a recipe online. If I can do it, you can do it. And fermented garlic just sits there on your counter for a couple of weeks, and then you can keep it in your fridge um, after that. But goodness gracious, is it good for you? I like to make fermented vegetables. Um, so, hold on a second. But I've, and I've like put like garlic in the vegetables to just kind of have as a seasoning. Oops, but I've never made just fermented garlic. Potatoes. If you weren't here earlier, I steam them first and then I put them in the oven for 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, so that they get kind of crispy. 
Oh my gosh, hello, I see your comment. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, let me turn this off. We shall go back to Mozart's letters. Oh my gosh, my hair looks crazy. Yes, okay, everything is good. I'm not gonna catch anything on fire. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure that, you know, things weren't gonna be set on fire in my distractedness. Alrighty. Whoops, I need to put you back up again. All right, there we go. So Mozart was playing the clavier for his friend. And um, <clears throat> he appears, obviously, he's on a little trip either by himself, but he's writing to his father. So let's see. Today, Friday the 26th, I went to see Count Seal at half past eight o'clock. Here is what happened. I walked into his house and Madame, maybe, Nisir, the actress, was just coming out and said to me, you probably want to see the Count. Yes, he is still in his garden. God knows when he'll get back. I asked her where the garden was. She said, I need to see him also, so let's go together. We had hardly gone outside the gate when the Count came towards us, and he was about 12 paces away when he recognized me and called out my name. He was very courteous and knew already what had happened. We walked up the stairs, just the two of us, slowly, and I told him briefly what was on my mind. He said I should straight away request an audience with His Highness, the Elector, but should I not be able to get through to him, put my case before him in writing. I begged him to keep all of this private, he promised. When I said to him that a really good compositeur was lacking here, he said, I am well aware of it. After that, I went to see the Bishop of Chime, Ch Chiemsi and spent half an hour with him. I told him the whole story. He promised to do his best for me in this manner. He was going to Nymphenburg at one o'clock and promised to speak with Her Highness the Electress. I am truly in the best of spirits ever since I left that chicanery in Salzburg. My heart feels as light as a feather. I also have gotten fatter. Herr von Walu talked to me at the theater today and I went to the lodge of Countess La Rosso and paid my respects. Now I have to leave a little room for Mama. Please give our salutations to our highly distinguished compagnie of marksmen from three of its members. That is from Mama, me and Monsieur Novak, who comes to Albert's every day. Farewell in the meantime, my most cher cherished Papa. I kiss your hands countless times, and to my sister, the Canali, I give a hug. Wolfgang Emede Mozart. And then um, underneath it, the, um, I guess the editor, the person who compiled this or translated it, Wolfgang's letter includes a postscript from his mother whose writing is amazingly similar in style, humor, and grammar to Wolfgang's. Quote, we lead a charming life, early to rise, late to bed, all day we have visitors. We live a life of princely clout, under the knacker comes to put it out. Adieu, ben mio. Stay well in body and mind, and try to kiss your own behind. I wish you a good night. Shit in your bed with all your might. It's already past one, so now you can make your own rhymes. And then there's another little note here. So that was from his mom to his father. <laughs> I guess how funny. Wolfgang liked it in Munich and wanted to stay. His efforts to gain some kind of appointment at, co at court were tireless. But meanwhile, the court was cool and political. Political in the sense that Elector Maximilian probably did not wish to annoy the Archbishop of Salzburg by offering Mozart a position. Franz Joseph Albert, who was known in Munich as the learned innkeeper, came up with all sorts of schemes to keep Mozart in Munich. So, so Mozart was there trying to get a job because he must have just left Salzburg. Um, left his appointment at Salzburg. So, well, with that, I think we need a chocolate raisin. Let's have a chocolate raisin. And then I need to plan my lessons for the day. 
you need to check out Patreon. Oh my goodness, hello, I'm so happy you're here. Oh my gosh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful, magical day. <laughs> you need to get some chocolate raisins to put on your music stand or like nearby. Or if there's anything that you really don't wanna do, put like a few chocolate raisins nearby and once you are done with those things, you can eat them, you know, <laughs> have a little reward. But I just like them. I just like to have them, little morsels. Anyways, my darlings, October is around the corner. Who's excited for October? I have to put out my Halloween doormat that says like something about like a haunted house and has like a little cat and fabulous things on it. Um, very excited for October. There may be a group class in person at a coffee shop after hours if there's enough of you that are interested in that. Um, that will be awesome. It's open to more than just a studio, you guys. You're the you're the virtual studio too. You can come <laughs> to these things too. And that the more the merrier. You can also come to our things that we do on Zoom. I teach group classes on Zoom and they are magical and awesome. All of the information is on my website, but if you want to stay more in with the loop, join the Patreon community. It's just a dollar to stay in the loop with everything. You can cancel anytime. If you want to be more active, there's a couple other tiers there, but we are finishing up the scale series. I think we have maybe one more left to do on Patreon. Um, then all the playlists for that will be there. I haven't like made them all live yet. Hey, Vienna St. George. Hello. Um, we're going to start a new series on the Shradiac violin etudes for violin and viola. And I'm going to share those, the first two, um, <clears throat> on YouTube so you can see what we're going to be doing um, on Patreon. So if you want to kind of like join the loop with that, every Monday I post a video on Patreon that like kind of goes through like a little like theme, like a series. So we're going to be learning the Shradiac etudes and just doing a little bit each week together until we finally have conquered all of them or the allotment that we've decided to learn. And um, you can join our virtual studio circle the last Friday of the month. Those are magical, those are magical. And of course, the moment things are a little bit busy studio wise, like lesson wise, but you can always like, you know, be on the wait list. <laughs> Um, I, this is why I need to do group classes is because I do have a teeny wait list at the moment, but that's okay. Group classes are magical and wonderful. And if you need help with an instrument, like if you're looking for an instrument, um, I have been recently, you can look on my Instagram. I posted a little picture of me and a little one of my students this last weekend looking for instruments. Um, and of course you all, you all know, I send everybody to David Mitchie's in the city because they are the best in my opinion and wonderful. And I also magically, if you're watching, if you happen to be watching Rich, Rich came out He um, and he was looking for a, an instrument and we had a great time just looking for an instrument for him. So that was awesome. If any of you need help getting an instrument, just email me and I will do my best to help you because I know that it's quite difficult to find an instrument. Just because I help you find an instrument doesn't mean that you need to buy the instrument. It's just, I can help you with the process of looking for an instrument <laughs> so that you know what it's like and you might have some background before you just like dive in and just buy something random, for example, because they are expensive. Okay. Lots of love, you guys. Vina St. George says, I watched the video you made with him. Wonderful. Oh yeah, with David. He is the best. He is the best. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I wish you a magical day. Happy birthday to that one of you out there with your birthday. <laughs> And I will see you all very soon. I do want to let you know that I'm not here the first week of August. So, I mean, not, not August, October. So there probably won't be a live stream that day, that week. But hopefully there'll be some more like in October. <laughs> um, so mwah, thank you for your comments, you guys. Lots of love. Happy practicing. Bye. Hey, Jake. <laughs> Bye.